doing my fellowship training here. Uh, and it was obvious after a year of, uh, through the two-year uh, process that uh, there weren't too many places that were doing what we were doing at the Med Center. It became obvious that uh, it was going to be hard to go anywhere else. I came here for my fellowship and um, we actually overlapped um, for most of the time that we were fellows. It's a great team of people. It's uh, a very supportive environment. The threshold starts so high in terms of how sick the patients are and what we do on a daily basis. We get patients from all over the world, we get patients from all over the country that come here because nobody else is willing to treat these patients. And a lot of place, places, even if they were willing, are unable to, to, treat, to offer these patients the treatment that they need. So yeah, we, we always like to think of ourselves as we're treating the sickest of the sickest. We are very willing to take a chance on people. We really want to try and make a difference for people if we can. Um, it's very, very difficult for any of us to say no because we really feel that we have um, a great team and we think that we have uh, a good structure, infrastructure here to help people. This is one of the more well-established transplant programs in terms of length of time that it's been in existence and with that brings familiarity within the institution. So at the Nebraska Medical Center, a liver transplant is something that is a relatively routine case rather than coming from somewhere where they do have been doing them for a shorter period of time or less volume it becomes a huge deal and a huge production almost. So here liver adult pediatric small bowel liver small bowels kidneys pancreas you know and now hearts all of these things just really uh, I think make it very easy to really take care of very sick patients and uh, really change people's lives. Fortunately, the success rate is very good. So we can quote people after liver transplantation, your chance of being alive at the end of that first year is 90%. And if you're one of those lucky 90% that made it through that first year without anything bad happening, the chances that you're going to live a long time are very good. So we talk about 70, 75% five-year survival. And again, the people who get to that point are going to continue to live longer. It's easy to, to offer somebody this form of therapy now knowing that you have a very, very good chance of being alive uh, years down the line from this operation. There are a lot of tough times because these are really sick kids. And one of the things that I've tried to think about from very early on, even just in residency and in fellowship and training, is that you have to realize as a surgeon that you can't change what happens to people before they get to you. All you can do is hopefully make the path from when you first meet them on easier. You can't promise them perfect outcome, you can't promise them anything, but all you can do is try and make it easier. Well, think about it, because uh, you're, somebody is trusting you to cut open their bodies, take out a diseased organ, replace it with a good one, and sew them up again and uh, expect them to survive. If you stop for a minute and think about what that really means, and how brutal it is, and that you're actually physically harming somebody to try and help them, and trusting that that person is going to help you, and when they do walk out of the hospital, imagine how much, how much of a powerful motivating force that is for you to continue to do that kind of thing. One of the things, again, about being here in Nebraska is that we follow all of our patients for their whole lives. So we still see people that we transplanted you know, when we were both fellows. I have this series of pictures of this kid who we transplanted when he was about eight months old and then he comes back every year, so we have his kindergarten graduation picture, and then I have his sixth, second grade graduation picture, and that, and that kind of stuff is, is really remarkable.